wise people. Um, I'm trying something very different today because I'm feeling a little bit. Bleh. So um, I, I'm, I'm still going to sing at the moment myself. Um, some would say I struggle to sing all the time, but you know, some people are, are less polite than others. Um, so what I want to do, and, and I'm basing this on the fact that whenever I run a, a, a vocalised group, particularly with new people, I tend to go on a bit about diction, about clarity of lyrics, about ways in which you interpret the song, but make yourself heard as well. There's no point in having a fabulous lyric if it comes out garbled or misheard. So this game, it, and it's a competition for you all, okay, including adults in the adult studio singing group if you want to get involved, and the creative writers group. Be good for you to get involved too. This game is based on misheard lyrics. And um, we all know the misheard lyrics, you know, the opening of um, You're the One That I Want by, from Greece. I've got shoes, they're made of plywood um, instead of the original lyric. I've got chills, they're multiplying. Or, well, there's lots of them out there, okay? But let's not dwell on that. What I want you to do, I'm going to give you all the song, okay? Now, the song is the biggest selling song of last year. So most people will know Lewis Capaldi's so, someone, some, what's it called? Someone you loved, okay? See, most people will know it and I forget the title. Um, but everybody knows Lewis Capaldi and you'll know that song. And if you don't know it very well, look it up and, on YouTube and have a listen, okay? What I want you to do then is rewrite the song. Rewrite the lyrics. And where this is a good exercise, I'm going to give you a, an email address to post your version to in a minute. Um, but where this is useful is it teaches you about musical timing because obviously the phrasings have to remain similar for it to fit into the tune the amount of notes within that phrase the amount of syllables within a line it all counts on making the thing work with alternative lyrics so for, so let's just say and you can entitle it whatever you like it doesn't have to be called someone you loved um, you can re retitle the song, but the tune has to remain the same. The lyrics have to be different. Now, you don't have to sing it to me, okay? That's the point. Just write it down and send me your written copy. I can sing it in my head when I read it. And there will be a prize when we come back for all this, okay? Um, but I'll tell you what the prize is when we come back, when I've decided what it is. Um, it'll, be something, it'll be something small, but will give you the honour of winning. Um, okay, so if you want to, if you're up for the challenge, please do do this because I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. So the song is Someone You Loved and you need to email the song to victoriamusiclimited at gmail.com. Email it here um, and I'll take all and I'll announce the winner after a couple of weeks. But can you also, if, if you don't have access to email for whatever reason and you're, you're in the studio, sort of pass it to somebody or... or, or, or for them to send it to me okay um and it's as simple as that now before we go although i'm feeling a bit rough i've, I've found a couple of really good singing warm-up um games for you to try at home as well uh, having research for when we come back and one of them is um is from to the william tell overture and the lines go Daddy's got a head like a ping pong ball. Daddy's got a head like a ping pong ball. Daddy's got a head like a ping pong ball, like a ping, like a ping pong ball. Diddle -diddle 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 -diddle. And you do that, and you and you and it gets faster and faster the William Mattel overture. But also you can raise the key so you can go, Daddy's got a head like a ping pong ball. Daddy's got a head like a ping pong ball. And you can get faster and faster, and it's a really good warm-up. And another game of fan, which which we, we can do when we come back, because we like our games of vocalize, I know that. Um, like that musical jukebox and all that sort of stuff. One of the games we can do when we get back, and you can do this at home, it's called Buzzy B. Um, and what you do is you just sing, you sing Buzzy B, Buzzy B, Buzzy B, 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 Buzzy B, Buzzy B, Buzzy B, 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 Buzzy B, Buzzy B, Buzzy B, 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 Buzzy B, Buzzy B, B, B. And when you say that, whoever's the chosen one says something beginning with whatever the letter is, okay? And so, so, so you say C, then, then you have to go into a pose of what that is. So, for instance, if you're thinking of a cat, cat. If you're thinking of a, of a, I don't know, a, a, a candle, you can go like that, whatever it is. Um, 
but the idea is not to dwell and not take too much time it's almost like they've got to think of it instantly okay and that makes it more fun first thing that comes into your head but what that does it creates within a choir setting it, it, it creates the fun but it also creates co connectivity and working together and being willing to make a show of yourself which is really important when you're performing in either choirs or solos you have to be willing to make a show of yourself because if you're not then you'll be tense or you, you won't the audience won't believe that you want to be there so for all those things um these games are really good so think about that think of daddy's got a head like a ping pong ball some of your daddies will have and buzzy bee buzzy bee buzzy bee 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 you can sing buzzy bee to actually any tune it doesn't have to be the same tune okay so remember song lyrics to someone you loved to victoria music limited at gmail.com and next week um i'll start um telling people some of the lyrics that we've been getting in okay so hopefully you'll have a go and, the, and any adults watching this meg um louise have a go it's fun it's fun and it teaches you about musical phrasings and things like that okay see you next week bye now